do not misunderstand it. This is not power of your creation. Thank you for joining me as always. It feels good to finally be back. I've actually been abroad in Brazil for the last month, finishing up the final parts of my degree. I'm pleased to announce I will be graduating with a second bachelor's this August. So it's a special moment. But more than anything else, I'm super excited to be back here, back with you guys. I got souvenirs from Brazil, which I added to my collection over here. Talvez um dia a gente pode fazer algumas partes disso em português, né? But for now, let's go ahead and dive back into the final part of that Madara statue which is so awesome, but obviously had a good amount of repairs to do as well. I found that going through everything, it was actually multiple days of going through each part, doing the little pieces that broke to the bigger parts of the mess. So you know, it was quite a journey, but I got all that for you, and I hope you guys enjoy the outcome. So as always, stay locked into my channel. We definitely got some more statues that have been waiting on me since I've been gone, but I'm excited to get back out here. Let's do it. Without further ado, here it is. Alright, welcome back guys. I had to resupply. Uh, we got some more super glue. And this time I grabbed some vinegar because initial attempts to put the pieces back together didn't work out so well. So I went back and got some of the crazy glue. I got some more welder's glue. And we're going to use the vinegar to try to clean up some of the welder's glue that didn't quite do what we wanted it to do, you know? I heard you can also use acetone as well, but obviously in the case of resin statues that have been hand painted, you probably don't want to use that because that's probably going to lift up everything. So I'm going to try to do this as carefully as possible. Follow my lead guys and let's see if we can't get this worked out. Let's get it. Now just using the super glue that you'll see in the back over there to take care of some of the more finer details or more, more intricate pieces that are very small and you know just a little bit more difficult to put together. I found that the crazy glue back there with the brush that worked out a lot better at least in terms of starting the initial repairs because with the headpiece of the Susano I did have multiple breaks. I don't know if you can quite tell there where the, that little line is from the parts of the paint that's missing. That's where the, one of the breaks were. I also had another break at the top end over here. You kind of see it there. So I was able to fix both of those with just the crazy glue itself. And then these parts here you'll see we tried to use the welder's glue it didn't quite adhere well so there's a lot of residue i'm gonna try to clean that up see this is the part that it attaches to i think with the welder's glue you really have to hold it in place for a good amount of time and because these pieces are so thin it didn't really allow me to use like a rubber band to keep it in place it was sliding or coming undone in certain parts so some of this i'll probably have to do off camera but i'll look to get that cleaned up first we're going to try to use the crazy glue to just keep it together for a little bit and then we'll give it maybe 24 hours or so and we'll come back and use the resin to seal it even more so it's very strong. Hopefully that works and hopefully this vinegar can help us clean up that residue a little bit. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Power is not will, it is the phenomenon of physically making things happen. Alright, here we go guys. So you can see, I've gotten multiple pieces put back together now. There is still residue from the glue that I couldn't quite get up even with the vinegar. Maybe I'll explore some other options in terms of fixing that another time. But I'm just happy being able to get it back to the way it's supposed to look. This one was not an easy project, unfortunately. But all the same, this is that last piece here. I was going to wait until the next day, but it looks like the crazy glue with the brush has been setting in very well. So we might try to put this together 
glue too. That way we have all the pieces drying and we'll try to use the welder's glue tomorrow to seal everything and make it really strong. With the welder's glue, you gotta be sure to definitely get everything done quickly, have everything planned out with what needs that level of adhesion because if you wait too long, which I found out the last time I was doing this, the glue that's already been dispensed into the mixer, if it's taking you too long to decide what parts you need to do next, it could actually dry within the mixer and then it's pretty much impossible to get out of there. So, you know, you live and you learn, but I just wanted to share that experience with you guys and we're nearly done putting this together. So let's see how it turns out. Well, well, you aren't bad. All right, guys, so I just wanted to ensure everything was okay with the rest of the assembly. I did have to re-glue one of those wood-style dragons here, but the other ones attached fine just with the magnets. Over here, we have Madara's body, and you can see just the level of detail with all the battle-worn pieces of his armor. And that's the back. And finally, yeah, you see things are starting to come together. That's the headpiece that fitted perfectly. Now we're connecting the arms and you're starting to see what this is supposed to look like. Everything looks just perfect. All right guys, so we're back at it. We got, of course, our battery pack here on the previous statue. This will allow you to, instead of having to use actual batteries, be able to plug it into an outlet and we'll be able to control it with this new surge protector I picked up here. Not only is this a way to individually control each statue in terms of when you power it on, but with this, you can also use this with Alexa. So pick this up at Amazon, I'll be sure to put a link at the bottom. And let's go ahead and put it together. To control the video device with your voice, you need to connect it first. In the Alexa app. Alexa, turn on statue surge protector. Hey, there we go. And finally, let's complete the two different poses for the statue. And this is option number one. So we can do the other head piece as well. And this finally is display option number two. Guys, I didn't think it would initially be the case, but option one won out for me. This is my preferred pose right here. This looks amazing. And finally, Alexa, turn on the surge protector. Here we go. We got it, guys. Model here on the channel. Find purpose through your passions. This is CA from Mountain.